Good afternoon, guys. This is Marcos once again, financial freedom, investing in stocks. We're currently logged into my Robinhood portfolio. I'm currently sitting at $3,460.40. I'm um, currently up to date, which was on Friday, $218.10, which is almost 7%. After hours, I went down $2,056, which is 0.07%. Today, we're going to speak about uh, GNOG, G-N-O-G. I'm currently holding 10 shares of GNOG at $13.82 is my average cost. I'm uh, currently sitting at $14.36. This was when a market closed on Friday. Today's Saturday the 24th, so the market is not open today. They were up during the day $0.37, cents, which is 2.62%. And after hours, they went down $0.15, cents, uh, $0.1.3. Cents. So basically, they went almost halfway of what they gained on Friday. Like I said before, I'm currently holding 10 shares, so I'm just here to provide you guys some information on the stock and keeping you guys up to date because I'm currently bullish on this stock, which is Golden Nugget Online Gaming. We're going to jump over to Market Watch to see what analysts have to say and what uh, Market Watch is reporting on GNOG. Let's go over to Market Watch here to see. Right here, the Market Watch, they're currently sitting at $14.51. Uh, currently, uh, this is Golden Nugget Online Gaming. Okay, we're going to see uh, this is an analyst, uh, uh, analyst that's talk about GNOG, a compelling play in the online gaming industry. This is uh, uh, from uh, April 20th, 20, 2021. Uh, through what we went through last year, the shutdown and all that, well, all these uh, like online gaming's got a boost in, you know, people like... Uh, Amazon got a boost in all this, you know, all the stay at home plays got a boost in it. Right now, we're currently opening back up little by little, but I think uh, these online gaming sites and online e-commerce and all that, that's here to stay, you know, that that's not going nowhere. You know, it's here to stay. Uh, I live in Florida. Uh, right now, I don't think there's any online gaming sites, really. Hopefully, GNOG will come down here to Florida because I'm tired of the local casinos. Because to me personally here in Florida, the local casinos are have a, a monopoly here in Florida. You know, and they they really have, uh, I don't like the experience there. You know, the games are pretty much tight. You know, they way overpriced because like I said, they have it looks like they have a monopoly here. But anyway, that's a whole nother story. Okay, guys, hopefully GNOG, uh, you know, applies to, to operate down here in Florida. And I'd rather play uh, online gaming through GNOG on my computer than go to the local casinos here in Florida. Okay, uh, the online gaming industry sector has been a major beneficiary of this, this uh, what we went through here, driven changes. Uh, Golden Nugget Online Gaming, which is a you know, pandemic, well, driven uh, changes. Uh, Golden Nugget Online Gaming seems to be well positioned to gain from the tailwinds. In terms of the stock price action, GNOG surged to 26.24 at the end of 2020 before reaching a low of 12.80 at the end of March. Currently, shares are, are changing hands for 13.55 cents. Okay, this is as for analysis community Jeffries David Katz Katz recently indicated coverage of GNOG with a buy rating and and set a $28 price target, 107 percent upside potential. Okay, uh, that's a good price target for where they're sitting right now. Basically, if you jump in now, you basically could double your money. This is a long-term play. Remember, that GNOG is currently starting. They started in midst of the pandemic in 2020. Okay, this is just fully 100% online gaming, GNOG. So they don't have the expenses of uh, huge real estate like regular casinos, which employees, you know, maintenance, uh, light bills, property taxes, and all that. They do not have all those expenses. This is 100% online gaming, okay, Gina. And uh, if I'm not mistaken, they uh, have already uh, permission to operate in Michigan and in West Virginia. They operate in New Jersey, and they based out of Texas. And they filed uh, to see if they could get uh, permission to work out of Pennsylvania. I think it's Virginia and Indiana, if I'm not mistaken, and who knows how many other uh, other states they've been applying to to see if they can operate. They basically want to become nationwide as an online gaming platform, which if they do become nationwide, they'll be basically competing up there with Penn National, with um, MGM, 
uh, online gaming also and all that, they'll be one of the big players. And if you look at those plays, they're currently sitting at $100, $90 plus per share. Obviously, this is a long-term view. view. I see Genog easily could be in the $40 price range uh, by the mid next year. Okay, if they keep doing what they're doing currently. Maybe beforehand, they could be in the $40 price range. Remember, this is a long-term play. Okay, guys? Uh, Kids believes that the iGaming market has not been fully appreciated by the streets. With this in mind, sustains upside seems very likely over the medium term. Let's discuss some of the potential growth catalysts. Okay, here we got here. Okay, uh, position for sustained growth. Uh, Golden Nugget reported revenue of 91.1 million for fiscal year 2020, reflecting a 34.4% gain from the previous year. Meanwhile, adjusted uh, EBITDA for the full year was 28.9 million, which implies a healthy B EBITDA merge of 32%. Okay, this means that they're making money hand over hand, okay, you guys here. That, that's all that basically means. They're making money, they're making income, they have grown potential. And this is that they're basically just operating in a small area currently, which is New Jersey. When, if I'm not mistaken, when this came out, because Michigan uh, haven't been approved uh, up to their last, basically, meeting. I think it was in March, okay, that they did the, the, they did the, the shareholders call. For 2021, the company has a uh, guidance for revenue in the range of 130 to 145 million. At the midpoint of guidance, top line growth will be 51%. There are various factors that point to sustained growth revenue. Okay, uh, for the for, for first and foremost, London Nugget estimates that the U.S. I gaming market will be soon worth 30 to 37 billion at maturity, assuming that the market size is 30 billion and the company has a market share of 5% potential revenue visibility is 1.5 billion therefore the industry and the company are still in the early earnings okay guys this being said like I said before online gaming is not going nowhere with pandemic or without pandemic there's always people that want to gamble in their home always people that probably want to gamble maybe sometimes you know they, they have an hour off in their job well, they're going to go maybe open their laptop, maybe open a tablet or something, their phone, and, you know, gamble a little bit, you know, to take their mind off of things, you know, take their mind off of the job. While they're at the house, you know, they don't feel like going out for any reason. It might be raining, it might be snowing somewhere. You never know, it might just be too hot. You know, they open their laptop, their, 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 their iPad or anything, and they start, uh, you know, play at home. You know, it's a, it's very easy to do. You know, you don't have to. You don't risk yourself going out on the road. You don't spend gas money. You don't spend time out on the road. Uh, you know, and you just play in the comforts of your home. You know, while you're watching TV, you can do some gambling. Okay, so this isn't going nowhere. Uh, foremost, a company recently secured market access to. Okay, here we go. They have market access already to Illinois, West Virginia, and New York, as well as a temporary permit for online sports betting in virginia with entry into new markets the revenue visibility increases so this is you see they have permission to operate in three in three states already new york west virginia and illinois and they have per, uh, per uh, a temporary permit to operate in virginia for online sports betting that's another big thing okay guys In its June 2020 presentation, Golden Nugget Guide for Revenue of 390, uh, 635 million by fiscal year 2025. Besides the industrial tailwinds, the launch of ex exclusive games in is another factor that could drive growth. The company launched 20 exclusive games in the first two quarters of 2020, and it has 80 games lined up for the next 18 months through 2021. Okay, guys, so that means they're launching good exclusive games that basically they're the only ones that are going to have these games. I don't know, maybe they probably slot games maybe, and they buy the license for those certain games, and they operate those games exclusively on their on their platform only. Nobody else can have them, so that's another good thing. Uh, let's say uh, bu Buffalo, but some certain types of Buffalo Gold, people like those games, and they go to the casino directly just to go play those Buffalo Golds. So let's see if they get a game, a Golden Nugget gets approval just for them to have exclusive rights. So let's say a Buffalo Gold game that people like, 
people will have to register to uh, Golden Nugget Online Gaming. They want to play that game. Nobody else is going to have it. Just uh, Golden Nugget Online Gaming, guys. When it comes to the balance sheet, the company ended 2020 with a crash cash position of 77.9 million. So basically, this was just four months ago. They had cash of 77.9 million dollars. Okay, right there in the bank, just sitting there doing nothing. The company raised an additional 110.2 million through warrant redemption. So Golden Nugget has amp financial flexibility to to pursue aggressive growth. Aggressive growth. So man, they have the money to grow. They making money hand over fist here, Golden Nugget. Okay, guys. This information is basically, uh, I think, is a couple of days old. This is written from. I'm uh, gonna go back here to check the date. Uh, okay, this is from the 20th. Okay, this is over just over a week ago. Okay, guys. So this is Golden Nugget, guys. And uh, do your own research here. Okay, if you want to. Uh, uh, I am not a financial advisor. Okay, this is just me giving you some heads up. If you guys don't want to really do the research, you guys can see here. I'm. I'm reading over what uh, the internet is providing me here. I'm going over it and posting it into my channel. That's all I'm doing here, okay, guys? If you guys really want to invest in it, do your own research on here. I'm not a financial advisor, okay, guys? This is entertainment only, guys. But from my point of view, man, this is a buy all day long, okay? This is a buy and hold stock. This is easy. Double, triple your money in the long term. Long term is over... A year, maybe two years, okay? this is That's basically long-term here in this industry. The more you hold it, the more value this company is going to get, okay, guys? Now, I wanted to, I went here into uh, Supply Wall Street, simply Wall Street, sorry. Uh, and I wanted to see the ownership on, like, who holds this, uh, you know, basically most of the shares. It says here the general public holds almost 69.2%, okay? Institutions hold 14.7%, individual insiders hold 13.3%, and public companies hold 2.7%. So individual insiders, that's like uh, Tillman, he owns I think like 9% of them, and the rest of them are basically probably managers or something like that, or employees or something that hold the rest of them, okay? I want to really see institutions. Like what institutions are holding if they only have a 14.7%, and these are the big dogs, the institutions. When they purchase stocks, man, they purchase uh, 50, 100,000 stock, uh, you know, positions at a time. And we're talking of millions of dollars at once right there, okay? 100,000 shares currently of, of Gina is going to cost you almost $150,000, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, something like that. No, it's going to cost you, I think, more. I think it's like a million something. I'm sorry about my math there, guys, but, but yeah, because it's uh, almost at $14 a share, and we buy 100,000 shares. Yeah, it's like, a, a, I think, a million four. Okay, guys? So we're going to go down here, and we're going to see basically what institutions basically are holding it. You see right here, we got we got a Tillman here. Tillman has a, a, a 9%. He currently has 4,190 shares at a valuation of $60.8 60 million. And he changed it to 2.44, so that means uh, he recently purchased more. We got here Exchange Trade Concept LLC. They have 652,066 shares, 9.5 million in current value. They uh, changed it 135%, okay? They have a 0.12% in their portfolio of this, okay? So you see all these numbers are 0 0.03, uh, 0 0.12, 0 0.12, 0 0.09, 0 0.08, okay, guys? This one right here, uh, Campbell Court uh, Capital Management Inc., 139,459 shares, uh, two million dollars, 9.26 percent change. So they currently hold 0.84 uh, uh, percent of the, uh, their portfolio. Basically, is in 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 Genog, Okay, these are very small positions. Okay, these people, what they're doing, basically, these corporations, they testing the water. They testing the water, make sure they don't get burned or it's not too cold. They, you know, they're checking to see if it's warm and it's going to get even warmer and warmer and warmer while they're in it. The hotter the water gets, the better it is for them. So that means they're going to put more money into it because they like what they see. Okay, guys? And when we got these institutions putting money into it, like I said, they put millions and millions of dollars. 3.2 million here, 3.1 million, 3 million, 2.9 million, 2.6 million. These are all millions. You see that? It's not like maybe like me that I can buy 30, 40 shares, that's it, and not even at the same time, okay, guys? 
these people buy huge amounts of of stock. So once this gets their once Gina gets their name out, uh, you know, and these companies start looking at to the good value Gina is, this is when the price really starts to skyrocket. But basically, uh, this is the top twenty nine percent, basically thirty percent of the companies that owe this is the top one. So everybody else has little, uh, you know, less shares than this, basically. Okay. But you want to get in before these institutions start buying even more shares and more institutions start getting in it. This is when you want to get into GNOG. You cannot, you should not wait when institutions start buying GNOG. Why? Because they're going to, once they start buying it in by massive amounts, the price range is going to go back up to $20, $22 or something like that. Then you're going to have to jump in at a higher rate. Currently, already last week, it was a good buying opportunity. They were down in the $13 range. You guys had the chance to go in with a lot of people that once this first started to kick in, before the merger, they were purchasing at the $13 range. Okay, guys? You guys had the opportunity. I'm not saying right now that the current price is a bad opportunity. I think anything under $15 is, is a buy in GNOG. Anything under $15, okay? Remember, this it's this uh, GNOG has only been out, and it says it right here, that they have insufficient data because, uh, uh, because in the last three months, more shares have been sold. Remember, this is a new company. They did the merger uh, last year. Uh, they only ha they only been at it like maybe six seven months something like that. Okay, guys, even if they've been operating for years, they've been a, comp a public company after the merger like six or seven months if I'm not mistaken. Okay, guys, this is Gnog Online uh, Golden Nugget Online Gaming, guys. Okay, guys, I'm gonna leave this video here, guys. Uh, the current price is fourteen dollars and fifty one cents. I'm currently a shareholder in Gnog, like I showed you guys before. Okay, I currently hold right here 10 shares. That's all I have. 10 shares of GNOG. I wish I had the more money. I should have put more money when I had the opportunity to buy at $13.82. Okay, I like this stock, man. This is one of these guys that I know if you hold long term, you're gonna could you could you're gonna make money in this stock, okay guys. Uh currently hold 10 shares. I'm being transparent here. I'm not doing this to pump up this stock or nothing. I'm just providing you guys some value information if you guys want it. If you guys do your own research, if you guys want to buy into this company, okay? Golden Nugget Online Gaming, the ticker symbol is G-N-O-G. -G. Okay, guys? Uh, I think, to me personally, I think anything under $15 is going to buy in this company. Remember, this company goes up and down a lot in price, okay? They follow the stock market a lot. This is a new company. They're starting up, basically, Okay? They are hungry, man, and they're here to stay. Long term, they're here to stay. They're here to get their market share of the billion dollars in online gaming, okay? Okay, I appreciate the time, guys. Once again, this is Marcos in Financial Freedom, Investing in Stocks. Please have a nice weekend, people. Be safe out there. Take care, and until next time.